This is Mouth Media Network. Amplify and connect. Hey, everybody, and welcome to a very special mini episode of Funny People Talking. I'm Mark Rico, and also with us is... Danielle Beckman. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey, Danielle. Uh, we are here with you with uh, trying to share information and inspiration in this time of COVID-19. And I must tell you, we've quite the get today, as they say. Uh, an incredible guest is joining us that's going to offer his input and perspective. It is none other than the incredible, incredible uh, foe and adversary of Austin Powers. That is none other than Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil, welcome to Funny People Talking, sir. Hello, Mark. Hello, Danielle. And thank you for calling me Dr. Evil. Someone called me Mr. Evil, and I had to have him put into a tank of boiling hot magma. This is Funny People Talking. With Mark Rako, Danielle Beckman, and Elsie. I mean, as a doctor uh, during this time, um, I mean, it, my, it would be devastating to be mislabeled. So Absolutely, I, because, you know, you really earn it on these times. You got respiratory therapists acting like they're nuclear physicists. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, being a doctor. Um, You're a doctor, too? Oh, no, sorry. I, I was saying to you. You being a doctor. No, I'm a doctor. That's right. I'm a doctor. Yes. I went to evil medical school for 12 years. It's much tougher than regular medical school. Oh, I, I imagine. Because you have to figure out like these very complicated things for your foes to be able to get out of. It takes a lot of time. Well, during like this mousetrap. time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds terrifying. Mm. And I'm, I'm glad on, I am mini not Mini me. Foe. Mini me. What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, we do not bite our kitty. No, 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 we do not bite our kitty. Okay. All right. Sorry. This is what I get for working from home. Sorry. So, so Dr. Evil, uh, love to know uh, what, you know, the, this is a tough time for many people. Is oh, I this know, a great moment of- Stop pumping the laser. Stop pumping. No. 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 You know, I'll get you a hot pocket. I'll get you a hot pocket. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> How can I say no? Look at that punim. How can you say no to him? <laughs> so this must be, uh, I would imagine, is this a is this a tough time for you? Or is this oh, a great no, I've always worked rejoicing? from my underground lair. I've always worked from home with my team of people. But now Frau Farbissima, you know, we had that one time together. That's, you know, that's how we made Scott. That's how we made Scott. But for the most part, I'm very close with my evil family, um, but, you know, I think it's very important that everyone, everyone, you know, get close to people, you know, hug them. A lot of people say I'm not a hugger. I'm a big hugger. I've always been a hugger. I think you should hug people, get close to people. Um, live uh, in Dr. Evil, orders. during this time, no, during this time, people are actually recommending that you don't hug people and that social distancing should be the answer. No, I'm totally against that. I'm totally oh. against that. No, no, no. As an evil doc, I actually would have come up with the coronavirus myself, but I'm 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 in my underground lair and someone else came up with it, obviously. So I'm always promoting the opposite, the opposite of this. You know what I mean? Because well, what I'm gonna do is once the coronavirus really covers the entire world, I'm going to talk to the World Health Organization and I'm gonna tell them I have the cure. And if they give me one million dollars. I can solve this whole problem with only. I think one they will easily dollars. give you one million dollars. That seems very. Oh, really? That's great. That's a good deal, right? That's yeah. not that much. I actually, don't have the cure. I don't have the cure. It's just oh. that's between the two of us, the two of us, the three of us. There's three of and us. And Minnie, me. Would, would you put that down, please? A so blow, I need a blow dart for him. <laughs> if you were hypothetically going to. Uh, help people mm -hmm. with hygiene or say cleanliness or oh. washing their hands. Do you have any 
any advice that might be a little less evil or well, you your know what, own that's evil interesting. style? Well, that's interesting because I have OCD. Because it's oh. perfect for me. I have OCD. I'm so OCD, I had to rearrange the letters. So that's C-O, C-O whatever that is, because I'm dyslexic. <laughs> but I wash, my hands, I wash my hands constantly. I wash do, you have a, do you have a special song that you use? A lot of people use Happy Birthday. Oh, yeah, because you've got to do 20 or... seconds. you got to do 20 seconds. <clears throat> so I'm what, always, is, what is your baby song, Dr. Evil? Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Everybody, mommy shark, mommy shark, mommy shark, mommy shark, eat the evil Austin Powers. <laughs> so, have you come in contact with Austin Powers during this time, Doctor? Well, he's probably out there doing some good work and probably getting some intel on how this virus got started and things like that, and fighting evil people, you know. But I haven't seen him in a while. You, you know, I'm I'm his father. Did you know that? Did you know that? Wow. I did not know that. I didn't know that. I'm not really. I can't back that up. <laughs> <laughs> I have no evidence to say. I don't, we're even the same age. It doesn't even make sense. It's so illogical. So, Dr. Evil, in closing, one uh, important question. If... Mm. What would you say just between us? Let's let's assume this isn't going to be heard by okay. anybody. Okay, just us. I like if, diabolical meetings. This is yes. Good. Okay, this is so this us. is a diabol a diabolical question. What would be let's call it your kryptonite? What could people do out there right now that would put that would hurt your plans the most mm. related to COVID nineteen? Yeah, just between well, us. I would think the worst thing people could do is. Social distancing, washing their hands, keeping their homes clean. When they go to the supermarket, which they have to do, like carrying wipes with them and wiping everything down, you know, supporting each other, helping each other out. That's terrible. We don't want people doing any of those things, you know, staying home from work. They, people should should not be staying home from work, you know, you know. I, I don't like that. I mean, I can do that because I'm an evil doctor. You know, <laughs> right. those nope. would be the main things. Don't okay. don't wash your hands. Don't <laughs> social distance because that would ruin my entire evil plan. Gotcha. Wow, we won't share right. that with anyone. No, no one. No, 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 no one. No one nobody, needs to nobody. know that. You know. That's right. If you we were All in right. my round table in my in my office area, if if anyone said that and let that out, I would have to execute them. You know, with my chair that kind of folds over. Right. Gotcha. So any any final parting words that you need to leave the world with as we uh, end our time together? Well, you know, I think it comes down to at this point, whoever came up with this thing, they're really, really, I mean, I thought I was evil. This is really evil. So the only way you can fight evil is with more evil. <laughs> And that would be me. So I think I should be in charge. Don't you think? Because I am a doctor. I am a doctor. <laughs> okay. Dr. Evil, everybody. Dr. Evil, thank you so much, sir. Good luck. All right. That's it for this episode of Funny People Talking. Uh, for Daniel Beckman. Bye. I got to go. I got to go get some supplies because I'm scared. That's right. All right. I'm Mark Rako. Uh, look, uh, please, everybody, be safe, be well, be indoors, take care of each other, wash your hands, and uh, have a good day and stay funny. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. The preceding interview was a parody containing an impersonation of a celebrity or public figure intended for humorous purposes, and not all content is intended to represent any facts or actual events. Impersonations performed by Emmy-nominated actor, writer, comedian, and impersonator John D. Domenico. You can find him at johnnyd.net and can hire him to provide a special message as one of many characters at www.cameo.com slash Johnny D 23. That's it. That's the end of the show. Boy, oh uh, boy, what a crack. This was funny people talking. 
No portion of the content may be reproduced or published without the strict written permission of the producers. Connect with our show at at Mouth Media Network or at our website, Funny People Talking. This is Mouth Media Network. Amplify and connect.